Hello everyone! Castle said, and it's time for another edition of Try Hard Gaming with Me World Cage TV. Where I do the best account of what I've got, which is not a lot of talent, uh, but a whole lot of. What do I have a lot of? I, I seem to have a lot of energy today. Hopefully it'll be a good stream. Before I get into it though, I do have to remember a whole lot of bad memory. Uh, I have to uh, make sure I mention near the beginning here that my um, Midsummer Marathon, Midsummer Marathon is coming up. I got to remember the name of it. Um, on the 12th of August. If you're watching this on YouTube, that's uh, only a few days from today. So it's going to be from 12 noon U.S. Central Time until 12 midnight U.S. Central Time on that Saturday. And uh, I will not uh, be doing, I, I'm well ahead on my episodes for YouTube. So uh, I will not be streaming um, later that weekend. And I, I may take that Thursday off as well to prepare. So by the time you are watching this on YouTube, there should be a um, community post that shows the schedule as I'm recording this. I do not have that up yet. <laughs> um, I will be getting that up within the next couple days. So if you're watching on Twitch, still go over to the YouTube community page, youtube.com slash at RollCageTV. Uh, or you can just search RollCageTV and you'll find me there. And uh, that address slash community uh, will give you a direct link to the community page. So uh, thanks everyone. Getting uh, some more subscribers on YouTube. If I get to 100 subscribers, and if you're watching this far in the future, hopefully you'll laugh at how few subscribers my goal is. But I'm, I'm looking for 100 subscribers on YouTube so I can start a Discord channel. Um, if uh, The Discord will be for Twitch followers as well as YouTube subscribers. So um, if you're watching on Twitch, feel free to pop over. Even if you don't intend on watching on YouTube, feel free to pop over the YouTube channel in order to uh, subscribe. And... Uh, what I also have a whole lot of is forgetting to turn on my timer, but uh, I got it on now, so I can time these episodes for YouTube. Yes, what am I doing? I'm, uh, well, I'm playing Civilization VI, as you see in front of me here. I'm gonna get the game loaded up. And, uh, oh, you may have heard, you may have heard uh, some kind of windy, staticky in the background. That's my air conditioner. It's still been very hot here, so I had to turn the air conditioner on. Um, it just kicked off now, so uh, there'll be a little, little bit of relief in that. But the other sound problems I was having seem to be a thing of the past. I was having a lot of warbling sounds. Somebody commented on one of my YouTubes that I sounded like Biden, legends of and <laughs> sword. which was very funny to me. It was one of the racing videos, and I don't. Legends into a don't remember when I recorded that Flights racing video, if it was before or after I fixed the warbling problems. The warbling problems were with the uh, Twitch app on Our Xbox. Of how to govern, um, and how to live. That there's a workaround for it, though, that uh, was discovered that someone, the real Norwood, pointed out to me. And I keep forgetting to um, give credit to the person on. Um, that I, uh, the person on Reddit that first posted the workaround. So I have to start a party. If I start a party, and it's invitation only, so don't, don't try to jump on. <laughs> if I start a party, then I can, then it won't, it'll sync up the audio right, and it won't have that warbling. So I don't know if that's what he was referring to, but I thought the warbling was fixed before that episode was recorded, so uh, I'm not sure, but... It's very funny. I told him I'm old, but I'm not quite that old. Um, <laughs> so it is a fresh day, a fresh stream, which means I have no idea what I'm doing. And I also missed the day. I was feeling under the weather. Um, so it's now a Tuesday and I hadn't played since last Thursday. So it's been five days since I played this, um, this scenario and I do not remember anything. Um, is this guy growing and, and taking this good stuff away from me? Oh, he took the bees away. I, I do have plans of putting the city here eventually, but not for a while. And I've got to decide, am I going to go to war with Babylon or am I not? Oh, oh, there's a, oh, there's a settler right there. A free settler. Oh, 
Okay, I didn't know this out before I ended the last episode. I always end the episode just before uh, I hit save. I'm coming over here with a settler, I think. Yes, if I get a settler up here, I'll be able to sell another city in the north. I kind of want to go to war with Babylon up here in order to connect my territory. That might be a bit silly. There might not be a reason to do that. Um, Babylon doesn't have a lot, uh, I will say. Or, or Mesopotamia uh, doesn't have a lot. Oh, see, this city has walls now, so that's going to make it more difficult. Okay, I may not go to war. I could make, go to do a war of conquest in, like, two turns. Let me check that. Um, but, uh, um, I already did egregious, uh, war of colonial war, moderate. Oh, let me, uh, um, I have to wait in another two turns. Okay. Yeah, I have to decide because I think right now I'm, I'm, I am eligible for this, um, See, I know I'm not eligible for that. I won't be eligible for that. Uh, he hasn't taken any cities. He's very... See, the thing about not going to war is if I if I keep fairly good relations with him, and I've already denounced him, so uh, you know, that'll be a long time to make up for that. But uh, if I keep reasonably good relations with him, then uh, uh, I'll be able to trade with him. And I am kind of going for... I think I'm going for a culture war. This is the second game ever that I've played, and uh, the first game I lost um, to uh, somebody else on a culture victory, so I have to make sure that I protect myself there. Uh, right now, Peter is uh, cruising with tourism, but he's getting 13 per turn. I'm, ooh. Oh, that's not, is that per turn, or that's current? I guess that's per turn, to her, uh, tourism. And he's got 13, so he's jumped ahead of me now. I do want to, right now, I am um, allies with Peter. But um, I, I'm waiting for that to expire so I can send a spy to his place. I um, wonder if it'll tell me how long. I can figure out where it might tell me how long it is. Um, he's... He's ally, so he's friends with me no matter what right now. And, um, is it gonna... No, it doesn't say here. He's not friends with either the other two nations. So, um, I could ask him to join my war, but, you know. Um, he's already... I already have a warmongering penalty which is 28, and uh, I do have, uh, I mean, that offsets the ally right now, or that's being offset by ally, but uh, once the alliance um, expires, he may not, um, uh, but he's going to actually be my main, main um, competitor here, obviously, nobody else going the victory thing nobody else is close i can't tell really on the well i guess i could look up the other i don't think anybody is ahead of me on on science uh my score is pretty high except for peter again uh domination nobody's captured any cities any capitals um religion i'm just playing a defensive um defensively on religion um i have two Two of four sieves converted. Oh. Two of four sieves converted. Two of four sieves. So he's converted uh, Hammurabi, apparently, and I've converted... Um, I have converted... Um, what's her name? Because uh, she does. she's the one that doesn't have religion. There's three religions in this game. It's a small map. And, uh, oh yeah, my religion just has been spreading on its own. Religious pressure. Almost all of her cities have been converted. Nice. Um, yeah, but Peter's, uh, Peter's, that would be another reason to take a couple cities from Babylon. I do not want to, definitely do not want to take out Babylon or uh, um, 
Hammurabi because I want to get culture from him. He's nowhere close in culture. He's pretty defeated right now uh, on everything. So I, I want to get tourism from him. If I defeat him, I won't be able to get tourism from him. Although, to be fair, neither would Peter. Um, so, yeah, he's getting... Oh, he's getting... He's getting 13 current. I don't know what that means, then. I don't... I'm not... I'm confused by what these things mean. I thought that was tourism per turn? No, according to the map up here, I'm getting six tourism per turn, so I don't know what... Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what that means. Anyway, uh... Oh, I want to look to see how far ahead. Oh, I could have changed governments, but I think I wanted to keep the government I had. I think I made all those end of turn decisions. Um, let's see if I can tell. Um, there are two people where I am at on the thing. So that means, actually, what's her name is also... Um, doing, has researched a lot of science, but if you look, she does not have a lot of economy. Uh, she tried to settle me here, but I, I put a, <laughs> put a scout there so she couldn't take, that's the only place on that whole landmass where you can put another city. Well, probably she get down here somewhere, but north of the mountains. Anyway, well, let's uh, hit the button and uh, see, I want to focus in on that settler, see where that settler goes. Hello, Tuna. My cat is here to uh, eat his his food. He had just been fed, but he hasn't deigned to eat any of it yet. Um, anybody here can move? Yes, he can move. Uh, can I reach him, or can I not reach him? It looks like I can't reach him. Am I going through mountains there? Okay, that's just got to be because there's a guy there. Because obviously I could get him diagonally. Uh, this is movement cost one and movement cost one. And he has three moments. So yeah, I'll just use this guy. I am going to have to move him back. No! Never mind! No! Oh, that's Babylon Settler! Oh, I thought that was a... Free oh, I was confused. Yes. No, I don't want to start a... Well, I could. Uh, but I'd get major egregious penalties. Um, so he's going to settle up here and really cut me off. See, I don't I don't mind if that... If he settles... The settler lands. Um, okay. Um, yeah, if I take that city and that city, wherever he settles, I might be able to connect up my lands. So uh, it'll be interesting to see where he settles. I don't necessarily want to keep him from settling, because it'll be uh, one more city I can conquer. Although it's going to be a crappy city. Um, I mean, settling next. I was initially going to settle up here because I thought, oh, I can, if I'm going for a culture victory, I can do seaside resorts. But you can't do seaside resorts on Tundra. So uh, I changed my mind there. Um, let me make sure he's still on. Yeah, he's still on. Stand by. Okay. Uh, well, that's interesting. Let's, let's see. Ah, I have a settler somewhere. Oh, that's right. I did not want to go through Peter's territory to get to where I want to go, just in case he gets annoyed with me. Uh, oh, Peter has a settler right there. I'm trying to block him out. That's right. Um, I mean, this isn't a great city, but it has a lot of gold potential. And I would get, if I settle here, 
I'm not going to be able to settle here. I put the thing here, but I won't be able to settle there because it turns out there's a uh, thing site there. But if I settle here, it's going to be within six of one of his other cities. Um, why is the black... Um, I guess that's the way it's going to go. Okay. I don't know how soon, like I said, I don't know how soon my, oh, that was the, it for the turn. I don't know how soon my um, alliance is going to expire. Okay, again, so see where he settles. Right there. That is the worst possible place for you to settle, brother. Um, wait, oh, religious war somewhere. It has to be Peter. Uh, it might be this guy, but I doubt it. He's pretty weak. Yeah, Peter is spread to him. If I'm going to play defensively, I do need to... Um, um, okay. Organization has developed. Uh, I don't know what caused that. Uh, I can purchase faith, a guru, not interested in guru, another apostle or nothing. Apostle or bust? Uh, yes, more trade routes. That's good. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can do about the housing situations right now. I'm working on them. I'm working on them. Everybody needs housing. Um, good. I can, I can increase my trade capacity. Uh, where did that settler go? Peter Settler. I don't care about this settler. Where did Peter Settler go? I lost track of him. Did he settle at City 2? There was no other place for him to settle except here or across the wave somewhere. Um, hmm. Okay, well, let's see. I do need to create a new trader somewhere. Um, oh, that settler is there in order to settle up here somewhere? I don't know. I've got, I've got lots of settlers. I like, I want to just run in there and snatch that settler. Um, which I have open borders right now. I could do, but I don't know if I'll be able to catch them. Anyway, okay, let's see. Uh, theater square completed. All right. Um, so let's queue up the. Um, amphitheater because uh, I do need some great white writing slots and I'll get that in five turns um, and they can also go on uh, a focus on production and gold because they're still gonna grow in one turn um, but housing, they're going to be, they're short of housing. Everyone is short of housing. I should check all my cities, actually, make sure they're on the right production. Some of them, yeah, see, this guy is, um, I can take him off of production in gold because he's got enough housing for now. Soon that will change. Um... Oh, he is working on... Oh, it's trade routes, trade routes. He's working on a spy. So I got another spy slot. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, he has lots of housing. Um, some of these cities I may have actually fixed housing. Well, like the one. So I fixed the housing. Um, definitely not. That guy is going to have a real hard time housing. He is getting sewers, though, so that will help considerably. Um, they have an issue, but they're set properly. They have an issue, they're set properly. They do not have an issue right now, so let's change this to growth. Oh, I got 15 population. No, I don't thought maybe that was how I got that boost. I don't know how I got that boost. 
Okay, they will have an issue soon. Um, I know I need to double back up here. They definitely do not want to grow regardless, so I might as well put them on focus to production and whatever. They are getting sewers, so that will help quite a bit. Um, they have plenty of room to grow. They are short. They are short. And uh, did I check this one already? I think I checked that one. I think that was the one. Was that the one that just, no. What that one was. Um, now these guys, none of these should be short yet, I don't think, because they're all pretty new settlements. They're short, okay? Um, I want them to expand. So maybe I'll put an emphasis on culture. Did that make any difference at all? That made no difference at all. Um, well, I'll leave them on the default because oh, I've got a monument coming, which will help with culture. Because I need more workers, probably. I'm going to have to buy some some towns. I've got a good gold income, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, this also, they need to grow in population more than anything else. So maybe I'll put a food focus. Yes, let's do a food focus. Uh, what is that that's coming? A builder? Or a settler? That's a builder. Okay, 10 turns. How did that change when I did this? That changed considerably. Um, but it's, I do want it to grow because it's a population with a wide. Um, well, let's do that and. They got tons of culture. How about gold? 12 gold, okay. I mean, they only have two population, so. Did this change? No, it didn't change at all. Okay. Um, did this change? It did change, okay. But they're growing in one turn. So I'll, I'll keep food as an emphasis. What actually are they working on? Okay, the niter, good. Uh, the gold and the surplus food, good. Okay, that's good. When another one comes out. Uh, oh, I could swap for that city. Who's got that city? Apparently, uh, these guys have that city. Um, is that city being worked by these guys? If it is, then I won't change because I love that gold income. Yeah, that city's being worked. Okay. Okay. So I'm getting good culture there. Um, and speaking of that city, okay, their production is good. Uh, here, they are short on housing, so let's, um, whoops, put, uh, production in gold. I guess I could just say de-emphasize food, but production in gold is more important than these other things right now, I think. More important than faith. Um, I would like their population to grow, but they don't really have to grow right now. They're fine. And they're fine. Okay. This city really... Um, they need to expand their territory is what they need to do. One, two, okay, that guy isn't quite ready to start filling out his second. He has filled out his second. 
Oh, I mean his third. Yeah, that, these would be his third, so. But like here? Okay. Yeah, I kind of want to beat him to these forests and um, mountains. So let's um let's purchase some tiles, shall we? Uh, he's gonna grow to that. I'll purchase that one, and I'll purchase uh, if I purchase these three, he won't be able to grow to there. So I'll be fine. Or I can just purchase these two and let him grow to the empty ones. But they're going to need farms and stuff too, so... Um, oh. So let's just box them out completely. Yeah. Okay. Spent a lot of gold, but I want those resources. I also kind of want that, but I don't think I can get uh, this desert here. Oh, I can't put a sphinx there. So. And this, do I, where did I say I wanted a sphinx? Okay, I bought all the places where I wanted a sphinx. I can't put a sphinx here, so that's fine. Uh, again, for tourism, gotta have those sphinx. Okay, um, three turns until that grows in silver. Okay, that's fine. Boy, I want to now. I definitely want to go to war to get this town and this town because that will completely box in Babylon. Okay, and uh, what was this again? Trade route that I don't need to look at. Trade route capacity. Okay. Um, who, who, who can give me a trade route quickly? I got a trader quickly. Um, do they have anything queued up after this? Up, 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 up. Ugh, close this. Uh, no, they do not. So a trader there would be... Because this is my highest production city, I'm pretty sure. Seven. Um, city status? Is that where I find it? No. But I can get there from here. Yields. 27 in Royal Town. Twenty-seven in Royal Town, fifteen, fourteen, nine, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, fourteen, twenty-one. That's pretty good by Shadet. Um Yeah, nothing. I don't think anything's gonna be close. Okay. So okay, yeah, let's um add a trader here. For the queue. Bum bum bum. Trader. Two turns. Oh, I, I might as well do... But should I just do this first? Move it up in the queue? I think... I don't know where I'm going to put that settler now anyway. Um, I mean, I was thinking settler... Oh, I want a settler there. That's right. And I want it there pretty quickly. Because those are some beautiful tiles. Uh, he's gonna he's gonna take whoops he's gonna take this tile I think um, appeal there is only charming so that's where I want the resort so I need a city here but he can't reach that one two three so yeah I'm not at risk of anyone taking that I don't think uh, unless Peter decides to run all the way up there, or Babylon, or something. Um, but, I don't think, yeah. 
I, I would have to take that to box that out. So yeah, let me keep the settler coming and send him over there. Um, can I move this guy yet? I can. I don't know where that settler is moving. I really want to try to get that settler. While I still have open borders. I'll just have an extra settler then. This city is not as important to me. Um, I think I had exclaim the tag. Um, yes, but it's because it's not an, a place where I can actually settle now. Um, it's less important to me. But I've got, um, I've got like, this would actually be probably better because I've got access to the crab gold and I don't need any more whales. I have nobody to sell them to at this point. Although it does give me more gold. So um, this is six away from Peter though. So if I'm not, ooh, did he? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he settled a new city down here. Oh, so they're all going to be that close. Do I just give up on that area let Peter have it? What's the charming appeal of these things? This is breathtaking, but it's hills. I can't put a resort there. Uh, this is breathtaking. Can I dig up the... Iron? I don't need the iron. I guess I... Yeah, I can dig up the iron, right? Uh, in order to put a resort there. So if I put a city here... I can't put two resorts adjacent to each other, I don't think. Um, here... Yeah, he, he will get mad at me if I go here. But I don't have any other plans of settling close to him, so... Uh, I could genuinely say, no, that's going to be my last settlement. You know, I won't do it again. I promise not to do it again. And I'll be keeping that promise. Um, so that's where Peter's settler went, I guess. Is that a very... That's a very fresh town. That's where his settler went. Maybe that's what that sound was. Okay. Well, good. He didn't settle out here then. Um... This isn't as good as here. Is it? No, it's not as good as there. Oh, I, I couldn't do there anyway. Okay. But I can still do here. Right? This is four away, right? Yes. Oh, I can actually settle there. One, two, three. No. I, the game has not updated yet. I, I cannot settle there. That's four away. One, two, three. Yeah, that's four... I mean, that's three away. One, two, three. Yeah, there's... I... I that's... That... Lens is wrong. I will not be able to settle there. But I will be able to settle here. So let's, um... Let's change it to here. Because it's not going to matter. It's going to be close to him regardless. And, um... Ah, I did it again. Uh, choose the city icon. There we go. And now, get rid of that one. Because I can't settle there. I've learned this in my first game. You can't settle on that site. And it's going to be a while to get an archaeologist. Okay, I thought Peter might have been trying to sneak over here and settle, because there's a place to settle there. Um, I can't. I, there's no way I can... It is breathtaking, but... Uh, yeah. No. No go. Okay. Um, so... I took care of that notice. Okay, let's move everybody. Ah, that ship. Well, I don't have to worry about these ships blocking off that settler now, then, because there is no settler. Unless that settler is going to go there. 
And if that seller comes this way, um, I don't know where to move these guys though. Nobody's threatening me anywhere on the water. The barbarians, I think, are pretty much taken care of. Uh, I guess I can send him... In four turns, I'm going to get a settler. So I can start sending him up here. Four turns away. This happens to be four turns, right? Oh, why can't I tell? Four. Four. Yes. Um, I, I don't need to be that close. It's going to take a while for him to go over there. If I can steal that settler and run back with him, then I can run that settler up, up to the city that I want to sell. Um, the general might as well stay here, I guess. Dude, I want to send these guys. Somebody should come over here. Because right now, Barbarian, there might, I might get a Barbarian encampment here, much to all of our chagrins. I could, there might even be a Barbarian encampment down here somewhere. I do have some uh, huts also marked by the villages, but I want to send this some. Um, Nothing personal, Peter, but I want to send this guy in here. Wish I had a horseman. Because um, I want to try to get that settler. And this guy moves pretty fast. Send him here, or do I want to send him here? I don't want to seem threatening to Peter, but... I mean, I'll be able to keep my eye on him. I, I, I can see what Peter's doing, so... Um, and so where is the general going to go? The general, I guess, come over. Um, well, I mean, he's might as well stay here. I can't put him on alert, so I'm going to be asked to do that every time. Okay. Uh, Sphinx here. Sphinx. Jam and look at that, look at that culture. Mostly the thing is it's, it's only plus one culture. It might not even be plus one culture, but it gives me tourism is what it gives me. Uh, not a lot of tourism, but oh, let's change this icon. Ah, there. There, there, there. Okay. And the general stay in here in case I need to, um, in case I want to go to war with, uh, in three turns. I think I am going to go to war with Balan just take that city, that city, and then I don't have to worry about taking Babylon itself. That city has walls, though, so it's going to be more difficult. Unless it, they're not actually built yet. They might be just in progress, because I haven't seen them for a while. But I got three crossbows within range, uh, which will help cut down the city. I got a bombard coming, but it's going to be a while. Um, okay. Missionary, where does he want to go? Are there any of my cities that are not converted yet? Um, aha, they've been converted to somebody else. Have they been converted to... Whose religion is that? Babylon doesn't have their own religion. Um, and the crosses are 
So this must be, well, I know what I'm going to send them. This must be, um, Yeah, that must be, um, um, I should have probably monitored that clip. Well, they don't, that's right, they don't get captured. <clears throat> uh, let me look at the Heirs of Religion tab, right? Maybe from here, I can do it. Yes. Eastern Orthodox, Zerastism. So what is... Does the green just mean it's under their influence? It's not my icon. It looks like a generic no religion icon. For Eastern, oh, it's under contention. No, yes, it's under contention. That's not the Zoroastrian. That's why, that's why the icon is uh, neutral, because right now it's under contention. So definitely want to send them there, convert that back to my town. I do need one more city as a fail-safe. I need one more city with uh, a holy site. It's almost impossible for anyone to come in and convert Roll Town right now, but if some people decide they want to come in and convert Roll Town, I won't be able to create missionaries out of that holy site anymore. Um, because any missionary as a creator there would be of the religion of the dominant religion, which is not my religion. So, uh, another holy site somewhere eventually I need to create so that I have a backup. And, uh, probably, like, here would be good. Someplace on this landmass, or up here even. Somewhere on this landmass that's, uh, as far away from Peter as possible. But that's a that's a later me problem. Ah, spy awaiting assignment. You are just gonna, s cause I can't. There's nothing here for me. Yeah. So you just sit here for this turn, cause in three turns I will be able to. Uh, it might be two now. I will be able to um, go to war. And when I go to war. Well, P Peter's going to be pissed off at me any enough anyway when my alliance expires. Um, builder, farm. He built that farm. There was another thing I wanted to build a farm. Yes, over there. Um, resort. Oh, resort. I'm going to be able to do a resort soon. How soon am I going to be able to do a resort? Radio. Um, how many turns was it? Two turns, okay. So this actually can be my first seaside resort. Um, what is the appeal here? Why is it not telling me? Breathtaking eight. Oh yes, definitely get that resort online immediately. He's got one build left, and that's what it's going to be right there. Eight tourism out of that. And, uh, okay, next turn. I want to keep my eye on this uh, settler. Peter has, has ignored the settler, so that's fine by me. Um, this will probably be a short turn. Yes. Yes, okay. Don't get mad at me, Peter. I just want that settler. Um, that city I'm going to save. So I'm going to take those two. I don't think I'm going to take Babylon now, but I want to take that, that one. It's kind of a crappy city. Um, 
Will it tell me who, what city owns this? It's not going to tell me what, just Babylon owns. No, Babylon owns that. Okay. Babylon owns that. Babylon, Babylon owns like everything. So the only thing this city is worth is, um, I could take that which would be good, but I don't actually need to own that, to, to dig that out. It's such a crappy city. What were you thinking? I got gold. I don't even have, I could put a mine here. Is this hills? Um, no. It's not Tundra Hills. What a crappy city that is. One, two, three. I could put a mine there, but this one's already could put a mine there. Oh, I'm going to get both of these cities. I want to get both of these cities. So it's just a way to keep Babylon from expanding, I guess. Just so Babylon doesn't get it. Um, I mean, if I'm going to go to war... I might as well take both of them out. So, okay, so this guy is going to then head. I'm not going to take that city out. I don't think I'm going to take Babylon itself out. Um, not going to risk going through there because I'm going to be at war with him soon. Well, if I'm at war with him, I can't go through his territory. But anyway, I went the long way around too late now. Sphinx here! Apparently I'm near some honey. And uh, get rid of that map tack. Okay. And that improved the cult. Well, that's a plus one improvement. That's what I get the tourism from, plus one improvement. Um... And I think it increases the breathtakingness, the appeal of things around it, though that's not going to matter so much. Right now that's normal. I put a sinx there and a sinx there. This would have been a better place for a seaside resort. Uh, yeah, maybe I want to put Sphinx here and not put the Sphinx there, put the Sphinx here and then where here. Yeah, I think that's the right play because that will then make this even more appealing for a seaside resort because I can't because I think the Sphinx does increase appeal around it, does it not? Bear with me, folks. It's only my second play time playing this at all. Um, plus one faith, plus one culture, plus one appeal, plus two faith, if next to a wonder. Okay, it doesn't say adjacent. So what difference does it make if the appeal of that space is there since I can't put anything on it? Ah, adjacent, okay, adjacent, appeal to adjacent tiles one. Okay, so it does increase the appeal, adjacent, okay. So that will turn this from charming into breathtaking. I'll be able to set a sea, put a seaside resort there. So, um, change these. Get rid of it there. And get rid of it there. And place one here.
You must not spell with a Y. I always want to spell with a Y. And here. Oh no, wait, I've already got a Sphinx there. Here. Oh, I can't put this I can't put a Sphinx in. Oh, okay, I'll just have one Sphinx then there. I don't need to overdo it on Sphinx. Here would have been better. I don't know why I put it here. I said put it there. I can't remove it now that I've got it. Okay, because then I've, I'll increase this appeal and increase that appeal and this increases that appeal. It doesn't really matter. But that'll be better because then this will bump up to um, four, which is breathtaking, which means I can then put a um, four is breathtaking, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's been almost 50 minutes. Let me see if I can squeeze in one more turn here. I don't know where to look. Oh, that's where to look. Oh, Settler, where are you going? Improvement makes straight roads. But the crooked roads without improvement are roads of genius. I need a, um... Uh-oh. Something got obsoleted that I didn't realize was going to get obsoleted. Poor wonders. I don't wonders. Uh, reduces the cost of purchase and tell by 20% influence. Was that the builders plus... F oh, that's terrible if that's one was the builders plus two charges. Gold deal... Informal trade, cultural science, and international trade. Oh, that's terrible! I was counting on those extra two. I guess I can start plugging going for the great writers now. Science, culture, faith, and gold from each city state you are suzerain of. That's nice. I'm getting um, gold from all the city states now. This is actually kind of nice. There are no more city-states. That would make no sense. Production in all cities. I'm not building any wonders. I guess the great writer. Oh, I'm so mad about that. Um, is there a discount on Builders one, or is that also... Obsoleted. I don't see. Oh, public works. Oh, that's why it was obsoleted because it was it replaced with one that's just better. Ah, okay. I will eventually need to plug in some um, um, plug in some uh, great writer, but um, and I don't know. One of these two would have to go. Yeah, boy, that would be a tough one to decide. 20% discount is pretty good on purchasing tiles, and I want to purchase a lot of tiles while I expand. 
I mean, I will get great rider points just for having the thing, but having extra great rider points would be really nice. Because instead of one great rider point, I'll have three great rider points. Okay. Um, no, I will confirm these policies. Okay. Yes. Um, and people are also... Yes! Yes! I think this turn, I'm going to declare war. But you know what? It's not going to be this turn. It's going to be next turn. Because it's after 50 minutes. I should have saved it at the end of last turn. <laughs> All these guys need amenities. I know that. Um, moderate penalty. Warmonger penalties are halved. Okay. I think that's what I had last time, so it's still going to be quite a bit. Um, this is actually a good place for a cliffhanger, though. I don't want to save the game anyway between uh, episodes. So if you're watching on YouTube, that's going to be it for this episode. If you're watching on Twitch, I, uh, I'm going to throw up the BRB screen and uh, be back in about two minutes. Uh, either way, I hope to see you then.